Hi everyone, I'm JD, welcome back to my channel. So I am here to announce the winner of the April journal challenge and then to announce the new prompt for the May journal challenge and the heart behind that and a bit of a story. So Keanu's come to say hello. You gonna sit there while we announce the winner? How exciting! Oh, he's gonna push off the basket. <laughs> All right, so the winner of the April challenge will receive this journal. One of my earlier journals I made. It's a bit more uh, eclectic and yeah, it shows my earlier style. So I hope whoever wins really likes this journal and can make good use of it. And the prompt for April was memorable year. And yeah, if you'd like to check out all the entries that came in, I'll leave the link below to Willowbound Journals, the Facebook group. And they're all there. And yeah, I'll link below all the playlist to do with the journal challenges, including my own uh, spreads that I do for them, and the intro video just showing my heart behind the challenge and my heart for journaling. Alright, so I'm going to look away in case they pop open, and let's pick one here. Alright, I've got it in my hand, and we're going to open it together, and it's Lisa! <laughs> this is so fun. Lisa's been pretty good. I think she's done every prompt, so congratulations Lisa. Um, and I love that you are using one of my own journals that I made to... Um, do your prompts in, that's so exciting! Um, yeah, and just a reminder to everyone that you, if you don't do the prompt in a certain time frame, like it goes for the month to enter the monthly challenges, but there's going to be a yearly challenge end to it all, so if you... Oh, Keanu, he just missed the table. Honey, you okay? Oh, honey, honey. <laughs> Misjudge that leap, hey. Oh, you want to play with those? You can do that, poor little thing. Um, yeah, so even if you don't do them in time for the monthly challenges, if you do all 12 prompts eventually and share them on the Willowbound Journals page, there's going to be a um, big prize, I don't know, a journal for the <laughs> a yearly grand prize winner, <laughs> as, as well as these monthly ones. So I'm going to put this away so he doesn't jump on it. <laughs> and yeah, Lisa, if you can let me know your address, my email will be below. Or contact me through Facebook and Messenger or whatever, and I will send that to you ASAP. Awesome! All right, so the May prompt, as you can already see, <laughs> no surprises. It is gratitude, and the reason I chose this one. Okay, so story time. <laughs> uh, well, I think that gratitude and being thankful is a good quality to have in life anyway um, and it can definitely help with um, I don't know fighting away frustration at life or anything like that um, and of course we do have so much to be grateful for so it, it um, is a natural response we naturally should have I suppose but yeah I even though yeah I've I tend to be a grateful person, I suppose, in general. <laughs> it wasn't necessarily something uh, that I completely, you know, wholeheartedly valued on a deep, deep level. Like, I love it and agree we should be grateful, but um, I think I can take things for granted a lot, and so that can hinder being really grateful, uh, especially growing up in Australia and everything. You just have everything, and it's easy to take things for granted and think this is normal and to have an opinion that you're entitled um, maybe it's just my generation or something but to think that um, well yeah of course I have to have that or deserve that or need that because I have everything <laughs> I don't know because my culture says I can have any anything anytime whenever I want and you can really just take things for granted and yeah I don't know if anyone can relate to that but uh, maybe that's one reason why gratitude wasn't like a deep, deep thing for me because I didn't realize how much I should be grateful. Um, and then I went on um, beach missions, so it's a 12, 12, 
<laughs> it goes for two weeks in January usually uh, every year where a bunch of us would go down to the beach and run a holiday program for families down there um, and I served on this team for 12 years and I loved it. it was the best time of my life every time I went there it was the best time of the year and but I found that I needed to let go of it and close that door to step into some new challenges and new doors um, so yeah I've just felt God say it's time to close this door to beach mission to this chapter of your life and walk into a new adventure and I was like yeah well that was great awesome and then I went to my last beach mission to say goodbye to it and then I was all great and I was all excited but then the last few days I was just in tears and I became very I guess um, in a way angry and bitter because all of a sudden I realized this is what I was leaving and I was like God how could you ask me to leave this how could you ask me to say goodbye and because just being there just reminded me how good it was and how much I loved it and I was just like what did I really hear from God right am I really supposed to close the door and I was like deep down I knew <laughs> like when you hear God's voice you know <laughs> and I was just like oh but God I want to stay and I was just like angry at him that he would ask me to leave but then on the last night um, a few things happened but on the last night I just came to the realization that um well <laughs> Okay, Keanu, I'll give you cattles. Um, this lady was reading out a book and some things from Timothy Keller about the Psalms, and she just mentioned this thing um, about how the campers there, the families, might be sad when we go at the end of the two weeks. They could be sad that we're leaving and we have to say goodbye. But she said they shouldn't be, you know, sad that we're leaving. They should be happy that we came. And I just thought that is a great way to look at it and it completely changed my attitude in that moment you know don't be sad to say goodbye like of course you're going to be sad but just remember all the joy that you had and be thankful for that joy and let that overwhelm the sadness so of course feel your joy <laughs> I mean feel your sadness of course not dismissing that but um it just put it all in perspective for me and on the last night I was like I wasn't sad or angry or bitter at all anymore because I was like I wasn't looking at what I was losing. I wasn't looking at saying goodbye. What, even though I was, and it was there was this bittersweet moment, of course. But the overwhelming feeling that I had was gratitude. I was so thankful that I got 12 years of beach mission, 12 years of this amazing time of this fun with the team and this growth that I went through on that journey. And I was like, oh my gosh, this one little goodbye right now is nothing compared to 12 years of pure, <laughs> like absolute joy at serving on this team. And uh, yeah, it just changed everything. Like it wasn't, it was still, you know, that bittersweet moment, a little bit sad to leave, but I was able to let go and move on and know that, wow, that was a great time in my life. And it just fully embraced that joy and yeah because it just really hit me that 12 years on beach mission like not everyone gets that I, I was on the team that long that I could see that um, a lot of people only stayed for one year or did it for two years or maybe three or four but doing it for 12 years it's like what a gift um, not everyone can do it money wise they don't have the time to do it or whatever but God somehow made it possible for me to do 12 years in a row and what an amazing gift he had given me and hey honey. <laughs> um, and so that's my attitude that I kind of take into anything now in life. So I suppose it was just a really great lesson to learn because it, it can apply to anything else, you know. Um, if you have to say goodbye to something or let go of something, some sort of chapter in your life, or if you're moving house, or ah! <laughs> Um, or you have to say shut the door on a friendship or a relationship or um, whatever so it's rather than thinking oh man this is the worst uh, I'm so angry at this situation it's not fair and why did this happen and whatever instead go hang on look back at the time that you did have like I don't know, in that house how amazing was it that I got um, <laughs> What? Uh, for example, I had to move from my childhood home when I was 19. And so 19 years in this amazing house. I loved the house. And to say goodbye to it could have been like really, really, really hard. 
Um, this was ages ago though, <laughs> this was way before I learned this prompt, I mean this, this lesson. Um, and even now I could be like, oh man, I wish we didn't have to leave that house. I wish we were still living in that house. But instead I can think, I had 19 years of absolute joy growing up in that house. And that house means so much to me. And I'll always take that memory with me. And, and you know, <laughs> okay, now I'm rambling. And I hope this all makes sense. But some ideas. Okay, for, let's get practical for gratitude. Maybe you want to write a list, a gratitude list. Maybe it can be 10 items long, 100 items long, or maybe just your top three things you're grateful for. Maybe it could be overall things you're grateful for in life, or maybe like just this specific day that you sit down to write, what are the three things you're grateful for right now in this moment? Or you could do like a vision board of the things you're grateful for, or you could do the top things Oh, I already kind of said that, things overall in your life that you're grateful for. Um, or you could do one thing, one thing that you are really, really grateful for and then just share the story behind that one thing. Um, those are some ideas. Of course, you can free range and do however you want to do this prompt. Thankful for family, thankful for a day in your life, thankful for simple pleasures like running water, um, food, tasty food, um, a pet, um, thankful for the sunsets, the oceans, thankful for um, your job that you have, that you can earn money, I don't know, uh, thankful for <laughs> our country or the country you live in, the freedoms we have, um, I don't know, there's so many things we can be thankful for, right? A conversation we had with someone, a movie, a, a song that spoke to us, a book. Uh, and I'm not sure what I'm going to journal about. Uh, maybe that whole beach we shouldn't think I'll journal about. Or, I don't know, maybe I'll journal about a whole bunch of things. So, yeah, if you want to do more than one page spread, go for it. Um, but do whatever you want. <laughs> um, I hope this is a fun one. The other one before was kind of... I didn't expect it to be so deep, but it got really... Um, a little bit heavy, I suppose, memorable year for a lot of people. Um, so I hope this one's a bit lighter for people, a bit more easier for people, because um, it's more open-ended. Um, hopefully, yeah, it's something you enjoy doing, and I hope it's something you can benefit from as you reflect and process and write, and that you'll, you'll be glad that you recorded some sort of memory around gratitude. So, yeah, uh, let me know what you think of the prompt. If you have any suggestions for future prompts, do let me know too in the comments. Uh, let me know if you're going to participate. And yeah, go check out Willowbound Journals if you want to see the entries and if you want to enter yourself. Oh, how to enter. <laughs> that would be a good way to... <laughs> a good thing to say. Um, so share your page spread on Facebook or YouTube or Instagram and the Willowbound Journals group. Uh, you get one entry for each of these things, except for that one. That's just a given, like, that's where everyone can see everything. But, um, so definitely at the minimum, enter at, on the Willow Bound Journals Facebook group. But if you want four entries, you can do all four of these. If you want, when you um, are sharing what you've done in different platforms, um, you can mention um, these things so that people know what you're doing, what you're participating in and so they can check it out themselves so link to the video if they are interested in joining the challenge um yeah just to spread awareness about i don't know journaling and the heart about journaling um and the benefits that it can give to your life and the prize okay this is so exciting because um one of the lovely ladies who is a subscriber to my channel and part of um these challenges Tina, she kindly messaged me and said that she would like to get a $25 voucher for my Etsy shop, Willow Bound Journals, and have that as the prize for the May journal challenge prompt. So that is the prize, a $25 gift voucher from my Etsy shop. And you have the lovely Tina to thank. So everyone thank Tina for me. What an amazing gesture. Um, I totally get her heart. You know, she just wants to um, give something to someone else just because she wants to, <laughs> you know, because that makes her happy. And I love that. That is, I catch that heart. I catch that and totally love that. And um, I'm sure you guys do too. <laughs> so, because this community is one of the things that really stands out is how generous everyone is. So, 
Thank you so much, Tina, and thank you to everyone who has entered so far. I absolutely love seeing what you come up with, and I really do hope it's, it is helping you or giving you some joy doing this, and it's not just, you know, a challenge <laughs> um, to get a prize or, um, I don't know, to show me. It's like literally... I hope this is doing something for you and adding something good to your life. <laughs> Let me know if it is. Um, anyway, thank you so much guys for watching and I look forward to seeing what comes in and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!